and that's also important when you're leaving a house as well let's be getting to the last lap and it's a sprint it's gonna go very fast especially if you know your stuff and you're gonna complete the exam you're not a person who just don't have an idea what I'm gonna write you have everything but you need to finish in a time so most important thing exam has a starting and ending time it's not like assessment you take home and take forever so time management is most important what is gonna give it to you calmness when you know you can finish the cross line within the good time you will complete your exam that will make you relax how to get this first thing small tips stay focused put your head down and say look this is it I need to finish this so don't look here and there because they will distract you and brain memory get affected by that your brain functioning work affected by that also you waste time 30 seconds is a big time in exam if you have to write a couple of lines to complete it I just tick one box so time is very very important so again stay stay focused use a clock or a watch on the side which it keep telling you how you're going okay that will make your speed go faster if you're a little bit behind use your best tools don't try new stuff new clothes new new pens and all the kind of new thing because they can go either way so use them before don't wear any perfume or something which can just give you use what you comfortable with and you say I'm happy so your ambience around you is giving you also focus and um, easiness always start with the easy questions towards the heart normally nowadays the question also comes in a similar order but if you find something in a reading time question reading time that's something hard try to skip in a start and focus on the next just read it and you know you have a little bit difficulty understanding it so just mark a dot or something so I need to come back to it but in the start you want something where you can finish it quickly and have a little bit more time for your difficult questions that's important the more difficult question you have mean you need to focus on the easy one quickly so you have more time writing skills also matter this it's also makes up your speed so test exam will will set the benchmark for you how how much speed do you need but it's a cash 22 as well the more speedy you go you lose your handwriting as well quality of handwriting I should say you need to practice that if uh, generally your handwriting is not good use common techniques to improve it like intercorrector gap into line gap are on a right only on a one angle these are three techniques I normally recommend to people who have a difficulty writing beautifully especially the vowels E I O not E I C like a O A E they get mixed up if you're in a languages exam these matters a lot so generally what I'm saying it should be eligible for the examiner because if you know the stuff and you put it there but somebody can't read this means you've done the effort for no reason always start question from the new page that makes a huge difference especially for the questions which are not very long they can stay behind with the mixed up with the question you were doing before and might be skipped from marking also the previous question get a benefit if you remember something you want to add on you have a little space this is art how to add new thing when you already finished the question but these are the technique you can use and these little thing will add one mark half mark and they add up to a 10 which is a big number again re-emphasize on wide distraction especially somebody talking to someone or the person who's in charge there any noise you just try to have um, not to get carried away with that this is very very important for the person who want a really high ATAR you get to a hardest question you don't know what to write it there write something this is an art you need to practice it work around the question words 
walk around whatever you know so we build up something where the the guy who's marking the exam see effort that's all they want to see how much you can apply the information you have so whatever you have you apply in a creative way and you will get something that something will add to the rest of it so please please complete your exam and the time management prerequisite of it okay so if you manage a time for that question you will have a time to write something and uh, after exam the biggest thing i recommend don't talk about it because if something somebody say oh you didn't do this right it means it's going to affect your next exam it's going to give you negative oh i'm behind what's going to happen you're going to go in a fear more don't worry don't talk about it you're done dust it and focus on the next one because if you do some you lacking somewhere some in that exam you can make it up in the next one and learn from it whatever you say look i could have do this way look i i try this tip or go another way to do the same thing so it's not over yet you got a few exams to go through and the nutshell is whatever the tip you utilize to make it easy for your examiner or marking guy he will in a return go linear that you give you he will have a positive attitude towards your paper whatever is in front because you are not there everything you need to communicate through your paper so if it's easier for him to mark quickly to make it mark then is less chance that uh, you miss marks so these are the most of the tip i give it to you and uh, what i'm going to say is good luck with the exam and subscribe to our channel we run workshops around uh, productive learning like how if you're going to finish this we have uh, upcoming workshop where you're going to learn how to start and plan your uni studies and we also for uh, guys who finish the year 10 and they're starting hsc more at the year 11 going into year 12 we run a workshop about how to have a success secret for the your hsc whole hsc so please leave a comment if you like something or we miss something or a tip you tried and works thank you very much once again good luck for the exam